on the court the money and the new laws, why aren't we just extending Article 50? Say again? Well, we're going to be de facto in the European Union. For two well, no, years. that would that would be a major error, frankly, to just extend Article 50. If you say, what, well, just what, stay in, well, stay in for another two years? Be, be honest about it. That we are no, no, de facto. No, staying I mean, there in is there years. is there is a massive difference in one respect. The one I started out talking about earlier, which is the ability to make international trade deals. These matter enormously, and they will come into effect if we do it this way, the way we're doing it. They will come into effect very soon after uh, conclusion in 2020-2021. If we extend our membership, we will not be in a position to do that. That two years is going to be extremely important for inward investment, it's going to be extremely important for establishing trade arrangements, it's going to be extremely important for for, for bolstering the economy. So the one advantage we have is that we're free from sincere cooperation. It's a very important advantage. Can't we be a bit insincere now and get on with it? (laughs) Uh, insincerity is not government policy. Who's going, to, who's going to punish us if we get on with it now? Aren't we just still acting as if we are in the European Union, we're bound by the European Union, we are lackeys of no, the European we're acting, Union? No, we're acting Can't as a law-abiding be country. a bit bolder. We're acting as a law-abiding country. And implement country. the referendum. Mr. Mies, Mr. Riesmog, I'm surprised at you. You of all <laughs> people suggesting we go and break the laws. It's, not, break, it's not breaking the law. We are not going to uh, break uh, those... Undertakings, laws, commitments, call them what you want. We're, we're leaving. We don't need to behave as if we're a permanent member. Thank you, Secretary of State. Thank you, Mr. Rees-Mogg. <laughs> right.